Do not attempt the techniques you're about to see without consulting a professional. On this episode of The Zombie Whisper. It's gonna be harder than I thought. When good people die and are reanimated into soulless brain eaters, there's only one man who's their best friend. That's Tony Malone. Tony Malone, world-renowned zombie expert and original creator of Pets, people for the ethical treatment of zombies. Hi, come in, come in. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm Tammy. Tammy, yeah. Yeah. Tony Malone. <laughs> Hi. Oh my Hi. gosh, I watch your show all the time. Well, thank you very much. <gasps> thank you for coming. And, uh, let's let's get right to it. Tell me, you know, tell me your problems, and we'll we'll see where you're at. Okay. Um. This is Tammy, an eccentric cat lady with a soft spot for zombies and no idea how to handle them. It's our house. I live here with my two cats, Dexter and Tinkerbell. I don't. I don't know where they are right now, but Tinkerbell, she's like, she was the boss. Until our newest addition, Bob. <coughs> Bob, I found him rummaging through my trash one night and it was like he was rummaging through my heart. <coughs> and that's when I knew I had to have him as part of our little family here. The thing is, Bob is stubborn. Very single-minded. You know, I go to give him a hug and he goes right for the jugular every time. And he doesn't listen to us. Uh, when you say us. Oh, the cats and me. Yeah, take her bell. If she stares at you, you will just stop. Except for Bob. You know, he'll keep growling and snarling. Actually, one time he he tried to take my head off. It was just once, but I thought it was a good idea initially because I just, I wanted Bob for some security and you know, companionship, but he is just so disagreeable. <laughs> Did something happen? Although hand grenades and landmines will get the job done, the weapon of a true gentleman is compassion. Bob, Bob you want to give me a hug? Oh. Good boy. Here's the first thing. To you, this is a game. But to Bob, this is his nature. Zombies in the wild are very dangerous. You have to show him that you're the leader of the pack. You can't hesitate. On the street, zombies don't hesitate. Tony Malone's groundbreaking technique, the brainwash, is an ethical way to show dominance over a wily zombie. Posture is very important. You must become what you hope to control. Next, you must learn the brainwash technique. These two things combined will show Bob that I am an alpha zombie and he will submit.
to a zombie. Brains are like foie gras. <laughs> I get these from a buddy of mine from Morg. Obviously, I do not partake in brains, but I do love a good Coney dog, which you can get at Sal's on 42nd and 8th. Tell him Tony sent you. You get two for one. Now, once I share this with him, he will see that I am the Alpha Zombie and that I have rewarded him for his submission. Your turn, lady. Okay. Um. Uh. All right, show me a zombie pot. Like you mean it from your diet, Frank. He's not believing that. <laughs> You are the head zombie. Okay. You are the head zombie. Okay. No eye contact. No touch. Okay. No soul. Okay. Show me your posture. Uh. Let me hear your brains. Now that's a magic moment. Tony Malone is one badass motherfucker. On today's episode, we learned a lot. No matter how big or small a zombie may be, it is still just that, a zombie. Zombies are not people. They do not have the same capacity for love or hatred. They have a single track mind. And while today's episode was very successful, not every encounter with a zombie will be this way. So my advice to you is, at first, use compassion. And then make sure you got something in the house to bump them off with. Keep the family safe. Until next time, Tony Malone, signing off. Brains. If I had a daughter, I wish Tony Malone would marry her and settle down in a nice studio size rambler and have many kids and raise them to look just like me. Watch the first episode of The Zombie Whisper exclusively on Apocalypse TV.